Let's see. Very first one. This is upside down. That's a really ugly card, right side up. It depicts betrayal. It depicts lying um, and getting hurt by other people's words, actions, deeds. Well, it's upside down. So it looks like you are starting to heal is what I'm feeling. So it looks like a situation from the past. It could have been uh, on a physical level or on an emotional level. Um, for those of you healing a broken heart, it looks like you're moving towards healing. And for those of you healing a broken body, it looks like that is happening as well. It's going a little slower than you want it to go. It's that whole darn patience thing again, Libra. I'm terribly sorry. But it looks like there's something that you're healing from, either an emotional wound or a physical wound. Um, and it's not happening fast enough for you is what it looks like. <laughs> So find your patience, realize you are on the mend, and it takes a while to heal both body and soul. And some of you are doing that at the same time. What crosses you is finding the balance. And what I'm feeling in this is the balance of life, just life. It's hard for you to heal yourself or any extracurricular illnesses or anything that is extra when life is hard enough. So it feels like you're trying to find the balance between um, healing yourself, <clears throat> working, seeing family. So it's just the ultimate juggle that is kind of standing in the way and you will find the answers to that juggle. Just keep going. But it does look like in general, Libra, you're doing too much for others and that's why you're not being able to heal as fast as that you as you want to. The tower is right here too. So if you continue on this, either your body, your mind, your heart, your soul is going to give out. So if you do not take the time to focus it on your healing, whether that's physical, emotional, or mental, it will explode. Doing too much is not a good thing for you. You are a wonderful healer and a wonderful nurturer, but you're not too good at nurturing yourself because you want to get up and go. And you will re-injure yourself if that is a physical injury. If it is an emotional injury, you will re-injure yourself. The tower is right here in present time. So if the doctor tells you to get off that knee or um, lay down, you know, rest your rest your weary body, whatever. Um, please do so because it looks like you're going to take a step backwards if you don't. If you don't, you will re-injure yourself, your heart, your body, your soul. So that's the juggle for you is really truly doing what you know you need to do to heal yourself. Page of Pentacles. This is messages and it's coming through right here. So this may have to do with this situation. Well, it does have to do with the situation. So for those of you who have medical issues, it may be readjusting your medical stuff. It is feeling like um, that it, it, it's definitely with money, time, some resource that we can't live without. But there will be some message coming through about either adjusting something, uh, could be medical insurance, um, could be something legal or a message of, of taking a step into your health, what, what that next step is, but there are some messages coming, um, and it can, it concerns motion of some kind. The pinnacle is sticking out here. And I don't think this is a child. Well, for many of you, it may be. So let me not just say it's not. <laughs> Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This may um, affect a child or someone that is your dependent. Some communication. So make sure you take care of yourself. Do what you need to do because we can't take care of anybody if we're broken. So you have to take the time to heal yourself. The world is right here. It is in back of you. So that's whatever you put the energy into. Um, the world is in front of you. So if you keep your head in a positive place and move forward positively, you will be rewarded positively. If you keep your, your mindset in a negative space, it will reward you negatively. Our mind is what creates really um, 
our awareness and our reality. So if you live in the dark place, then the dark place will be ignited. If you live in the light place, the light place will be ignited. Yes, there is always some kind of challenge and some kind of struggle. That doesn't mean that uh, we can't find our humility and our appreciation for the lives that we do have. So keep it positive, Libra. Keep that energy positive. Focus on the positive things that you want to uh, create for the future and try not to slip into that kind of woe is me, um, especially if you are challenged on a physical level, it's really easy to go into the sad place around not being as healthy as you want to be. Um, so keep that energy light, keep that energy in the positive, and you will be able to move past this little dark hiccup. But it looks like it's a dark hiccup that kind of is visiting you right now, Libra. Um, it's the expectation level, you know, no expectation levels and we won't be disappointed. So clean slate, Libra, um, focus on the positive on the future, what you'd like that to look like. Um, but it looks like you are still struggling with something from the past, either a relationship or it could be a physical thing, but you are struggling with something right now. There is all sorts of cards of balance here. So finding that balance, even the world has two swords here. There's balance here. There's balance there in your temperance. Um, let me not forget the tower. Tower is a really important card. I know I brushed on this, but I want to go more in depth. The tower is lessons through destruction. And this card is basically when you know you need to change something, whether it's a job, your health, uh, a destructive relationship, um, living in the, a place that's dangerous. Uh, if it's something that you know you need to change, you're just not looking at it, just not looking at it. If you do not pay attention to it, spirit kind of comes in and messes things up in front of all the neighbors. So if you know you need to move, or you know you need to leave a job, spirit comes in and you may get fired or laid off because you're not supposed to be at that job. It is not within your highest creative essence for your journey here and what you're, what you're here on the earth for. So really take a look at the things that you know you need to change. Take even one step towards changing it will start the ball rolling. But if you continue to ignore either the behavior, the relationship, the job, whatever it is that you know you need to change, if you continue to ignore it, it will explode. It will be changed by spirit. And that's not my rule, that's spirit's rule. And it just is. And the tower is right there in present. So please, Libra, make those changes. Make the changes that you know that you can do. Um, and it will bode better. The temperance is in the, in the future position. So if you do this hard work, if you speak those hard words and make you a priority, yes, you will find your balance. Temperance is right here in the front, in the future. So yes, you will and be able to attain some health and some positive growth, and but you must make you a priority and do the things that you need to do, including letting go of either friendships, jobs, houses, the things that do not work for you and continue to not work for you. So change the game up a little bit and the growth, the happiness, and the smile will be on its way, dear Libra. Um, it looks like you've been working super, super hard. This is just like the culmination of all that hard work. And um, yeah, push some of those fears out because I see the culmination card here is old, broken, alone. So you're kind of living in this fear place. And I encourage you really to step out of that fear place and start channeling the positive so you can go more towards the positive. But the temperance is finding your balance, getting your feet wet, so to speak, doing the hard things, saying the hard things, moving the, uh, the energy that you know that you need to move, releasing and uh, refilling yourself with more positive vibration. <clears throat> But yeah, it's all about healing yourself this month. Really all about healing yourself. And you will be on the path. Once you take that step into really listening to the God of your heart, doing what you're supposed to do, that you know you're supposed to, and 
um, you will find that balance. I know it's a perpetual state of mind for a Libra is finding the balance and the beauty and things. And you are on the path, so don't give up. But it's time to make you a priority again. Star, new beginnings, giving things, uh, giving of yourself to you and to others. You have a lot of these giving out cards giving out, but I don't see any of the receiving cards. So it's time to allow yourself to receive. The star can also be um, mother love, nurturing. It also can be uh, starting a new endeavor, um, taking a step up into your own magic, uh, but it also can mean giving it all away. So it looks like you know your magic, Libra, but you're giving it all away. Um, and there's something in here about wanting to be liked. Don't worry about that so much. Don't worry about needing to be liked. As long as you have a good relationship with yourself, the spirit of your heart, and you are um, being in integrity, uh, it really doesn't matter if people like you or not. Um, but it's time to give to yourself. See, you're giving it all away. You're pouring it on the ground. You need to give some to yourself and be the star of your own show for a minute, Libra. So you can get to that health part. So you can get to that 100% of productivity and things will run a little smoother. But it really looks like you have been battling an uphill battle for a couple of months. So there's things you need to do. Uh, this is fear of theft, can be gossip, can be negative energy. So it looks like there is some negative energy around you. It can be your family. It could be friends. Um, but this is also can st stand for, you know, not paying attention and someone manipulating you or stealing an idea. But... Um, but this looks like it's something very real. So be aware when you share. If it's an idea that you don't want someone else to have, then don't share it. So make sure that you have everything in order um, before you start sharing your ideas publicly. But it does look like you just went through some kind of <clears throat> either gossip or betrayal or negative energy that was thrown towards you. And it looks like it was either a family member or a very close friend type of thing. So um, trust yourself. If they say, if, if the intuition says, you know, this person is not being kind, even if they are smiling in your face, please trust your intuition. You are very intuitive, Libra. But there is a fear of theft or a fear of something being taken from you. Uh, it also can stand for gossip and manipulation. The next card, it does look like some of your um, communication has been a little muddled. You know, when we say it's a nice day, it's not the sky is blue. But some people hear the sky is blue. It's not what we said, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of. So it looks like some of your communication has been getting lost in translation is what it feels like. It also looks like there was a fight of some kind or a disagreement that you had to walk away from and that there was some shame involved and kind of a, a competition that you had to walk away from. Um, Libra, you don't really like competition. You like everybody to get along. and uh, But it looks like you were kind of stuck in the middle of, of something that you did not create. But it looks like it was handed to you to clean up. You know, for those of you who are parents, we understand what that means really clearly. <laughs> um, could be... Um, different family members, but it's, it is feeling like family has been disagreeing and you're right in the middle of it to clean it up. So don't clean it up. Take a step back from it. Uh, these people are old enough to wipe their own tukuses. Please allow that or let them fall. Let them fall. They are uh, old enough to know better and you don't have to clean up everybody's stuff just because you have the willingness. It also stands in the way of you healing your body, mind, and spirit. So um, step out of that tumultuous disagreement. And it could also be for work too, but it's something you're right in the middle of and it doesn't belong to you. 
The culmination car card is your fears have really been coming up lately, really, really heavily. And what I call this, this is the five of pentacles. This is the what I call the old broken alone card. Um, and it's just your fears. And remember, whatever we put our mind to, we will create. So if you're focusing on your fears, dear Libra, that's what your mind is going to create. So I encourage you to step out of your judgment of yourself and others and really clear the slate and think of all the positive things you want to manifest in this next year. All the positive, whether it's whether it's health, whether it's money, whether it's love, or just having a status quo, easy life, whatever it is. It's time to pull your judgment out of it and you judge yourself very heavily, Libra. So I'd like you to take a vacation from judging yourself. So please turn down your judgment and your fear because that is what you're manifesting. There is such a focus on that, that that is starting to come into play, all those fears, because that is where your focus is. So switch your focus and you'll relieve yourself of a lot of headaches, a lot of headaches. And, it, and by the way, it looks like a lot of air signs are having um, headaches because they're overthinking. So if you're in that category, turn off the analyzer. You know, with uh, Pluto and Capricorn, uh, be a lot of emotion. So it's a perfect time to turn down that analyzer. I know you're an air sign, but just turn it down like a dimmer switch. This is on the other side of the culmination card. And it's kind of the scratch, crying over spilt milk. Everything has changed. You have seen the change. Um, and it's time to go with that, to go with the change. It's not going to be like it was. Um, but there are other options here. There are two other options that you're not even paying attention of. But it looks like you're in deep sorrow over the change, whether it was a physical death, a job that left, um, a, a spouse that left, but there is some grieving that you're doing over the change. So, and it may be that you're not able on a physical level to do certain things that you used to do very well. That might be part of the grief, but it's time to let go of that grief and find your humility and find your gratitude for the things that you do have. And when you focus on your gratitude, um, it's funny, things start to work out a little better. So I encourage you to focus on your gratitude this month and it will help you move past the sad things that um, are inevitable to be worked on. So that is your reading, dear Libra, for the month of January. Since it is a new year, I'd like to throw three cards. First one for love, second one for money, third one for health, because after all, so... Let's look at the first card for love. The Two of Pentacles, also finding your balance. It looks like you have to find your balance within yourself. It's the same card as this, so you're getting double whammied. <laughs> so it's really finding the balance within. There's the Ten of Swords. That's come up a lot for money. So it looks like regrouping from last year's expenses that were a little devastating. And um, so it looks like it's it's a year of catch up uh, uh, financially. Let's start at the beginning. The two of pentacles. It's the same as this. It's absolutely the same card. So it's really finding your own balance within you um, <clears throat> will enable you to find balance in all your relationships, whether it's a love relationship on an intimate sexual relationship or if it's your children or your parents. But really you finding your balance within will really help communication on all your other levels of intimacy and love. Ten of Swords, regrouping, recouping, and kind of um, your uh, last year was a little bit tough for you financially. So it looks like you're finding your balance again and recouping the loss from, from last year or um, reprioritizing how you're going to make your money or how you're going to spend it. So it's a little bit of playing catch up on money stuff, Libra. And for health, it's the fool. Try something different. Take a leap of faith. Trust the doctors. Trust different processes. If something isn't working for your health, make a commitment to try something different. 
Um, so, and the fool can go either way. It's new stuff. It's taking a leap of faith. It's, um, not doing things foolishly that, you know, will injure your mind, body, and spirit. So, um, make some changes, make those changes. You know what they are, Libra. So make those changes and commit to them.